We love using the comment and markup tool to note changes we're making in a document, as well as to keep track of implementing those changes. First, I'll show you some basic tools and we'll go into some cool multimedia commenting. First, most people use the sticky note tool. You can just go to add sticky note, type in your comment, and then place the sticky note where you feel it's most appropriate. Then we use the text editor tool a lot. So if you go under tools, comment and markup, text edits, with the text edit tool, you can actually note deletions, insertions, or replacement text. So I might highlight this word, and if I start typing, it's going to know that this is text is going to be replaced. If I want to delete something, I just have to highlight what I want to delete and hit the delete button, and it'll strike it out. Or if I want to insert something, I'll place my cursor where I want text to be inserted, and I'll type in inserted text exactly how I want it to be or appear, commas and periods and all. So as I hover, I'm gonna see what was being inserted or what was being corrected and what perhaps was being deleted. Another tool that I use really often, uh, if I don't wanna use the text edit tool and I just wanna make it easy on myself and easier to see, I'll use the highlight tool. So I'll go to tools, highlight text tool, and you just highlight whatever text you want to make a note of. And if you double click on it, you can insert your comment. And sometimes it's a change that you're making, sometimes it's a comment. Uh, you can use the highlight tool rather flexibly. Another tool is the call out tool. So perhaps there's something specific that I want to point to. So I'll go to call out tool. I'll click where I want it to be pointed at, and then I'll just drag for where I want the actual note to appear. So I might say something like, make this globe smaller. And unlike the other commenting tools, this actually shows up directly on the page. Another really cool tool is the various shape tools. I like to use the shape tool when I'm trying to identify an entire section. So maybe I want to make a note like this. I'll go to the rectangle tool and I'll highlight the section or outline the section. I'll double click on it and I'll say something like, move this section, if I can spell, up about half an inch. And now, when you hover over it, you'll see what my comment was and you'll see exactly what I was referring to. Now, if you really wanna get fancy, you can start attaching documents. So if you go to tools, attach file as a comment, I can drop where I want it to be, click on the document that I want to attach and hit select. Now under the appearance, you can define what you want that icon to look like. You can change the color of that icon. And under general, in description, you can write what that comment is. And I might say something like, replace the first two paragraphs with the attached content and hit okay. So now when I hover, you're gonna see what my comment was and you're gonna see if you double click on it, it'll launch an open file window and it'll ask you what your preferences are for actually opening this file. And since this was a Word document, when I click OK, it'll actually launch Word for me. Now, sometimes typing doesn't communicate exactly how you want things to be messaged. So you often have that problem in email. So sometimes you're gonna want to leave an actual audio recording. So I'll go to tools, comment, record audio comment, and I'll click here and I just hit record and I might say something like, I just really wanted your feedback on this. I really am not sure if I, if I like this or if I like that. And so if you can get back to me on this, I'd really appreciate it. So you can click stop when you're done recording, click play to play it back and click okay 
to allow it to go in. And you can decide if you want an ear, a microphone, or sound. And you can just do general if you want to change the description. And I'm just going to click OK. And now, if I double click on this, it's going to actually play the audio sound for me or for whoever's listening to this. So once all of these comments are in, when your designer receives your feedback, they can show the comments box. So on the left, I have a handy <clears throat> comment box, or you can do um, show comment or high, show or high comment list. And you'll get this list here that gives you all of the edits that you've made in the document. It'll show you what page they're on, and it'll actually highlight them and go to the page where that comment exists. Now, when I'm going through a document, I like to just check the status box once I've implemented that edit so that I can have everything open and I know that I've achieved or implemented everything that was asked of me. Now, in some instances, I might have feedback or a comment for the client. So I'll click on that item. I'll go up here and I'll leave a reply. I'm not really clear on this change, please advise. And so now if I were to send this document back to them after I save it, of course, they'll see this document or they'll see this uh, comment here. It'll be highlighted as feedback back for them. So this really makes tracking changes far easier than changes done in Word or by hand if, for instance, someone faxed you a document. So. Happy editing and we look forward to any questions that you might have.